experiencing all the benefits that come to living, can you share some tips and hacks for staying fit that even a busy mom like myself will be able to follow? Hi there, I'm Marissa Parry, co-founder and health and wellness director at Purely B. I know you have a lot of questions for us here at Purely B. So today, let's chat with me, Marissa. Today's question comes from Shamila. Let me just read it out to you. Hi, Marissa. You're a busy mother of two, but you're also still so fit. Thank you. Somehow, you seem to find time to do it all. I'm a mother of a little baby girl. She's two, and I work full time. To be honest, between being a full-time mama and with my full-time job, I can barely manage the household. Staying healthy and fit is the last thing on my mind. By the end of the day, I just want to sleep. But I know it's important, so my in question is, can you share some tips and hacks for staying fit that even a busy mom like myself will be able to follow? Thanks so much, Shamila. Shamila, that is a great question. Thank you for sending it in. Many, or in fact, most of us mothers suffer from what I like to call the balance myth. And that is thinking we have to do it all and be some kind of super mom. Thanks for thinking I have it all together. Trust me, I do have my days. But to me, being healthy and fit is a top priority. And it's not just because it's part of my job, it's actually because I'm experiencing all the benefits of living this type of lifestyle. So I'm gonna share with you my top tips and hacks because all mothers deserve this. So my first tip and the most essential tip that you have to conquer, it's all about planning. With so much on our plate, we're juggling work life, family life, home life, you've got to plan it all out. Whether you wanna use your phone, whether you wanna use a diary, I'm so old school, I love to write in a diary, or even if you wanna go super organized and an Excel spreadsheet. So just like how you schedule in your business meetings, schedule in everything that you need to do right down to going to the supermarket. Yes, that's right. So are you one of those mothers who zips into a supermarket and zips out, and then you've gotta go several times a week because you know you haven't planned your week properly? So if you want a healthy household, spend time in that supermarket. And the other thing is planning in your exercise sessions and work other appointments around this. A lot of us tend to move the exercise session over if something else comes up, a friend calls us up or a work meeting comes up. Seriously, take control. Work everything around your exercise sessions. And then at the end of the week, you're gonna feel great about yourself because you managed to hit all those days that you wanted to get out and be active, rather than getting to the end of the week going, oh, I didn't manage to do anything. Another important element when it comes to planning your schedule is also planning the weekly menu. What I like to do is I like to plan the menu from Monday to Friday, leaving some flexibility in the weekends, because this is a time where we socialize or be out with the whole family, and you also just need a break from the kitchen. So when it comes to meals, don't overcomplicate things. Meals can be really simple. So for us in my household, some of our favorites, soups. They're so easy to make. Just throw everything into the pot, add in your potatoes for some carbs, or serve it with noodles and soup. Here's a hack for you. If you have help, like my mother, bless her, she's so great in the cook kitchen. This is where I think having home cooked meals comes from because we always had that when we were younger. Um, she makes me my vegetable broths and my bone broths and I just put them in the freezer. And so when I need a soup, there you go. I've already got the base. Um, other favorites is dal. Oh my gosh, Asians and dal. Do you know how nutritious dal is? It's full of lentils, which is a great plant-based protein. And you can throw other things in there. Just use your imagination. You can put in carrots, you can put in potatoes, you can put in eggplants. My kids love this with roti or dal or some brown rice and another one stir fries are we not in the land of stir fries okay um, a little tip for you is steam your vegetables first so that they can soften up a little bit but just a little bit because you need vegetables with a bit of crunch so that they have the nutrients in it and then throw it into the wok saute it with um, garlic and onion and ginger and season it with 
tamari, soy sauce, some honey soy, and you've just got these fabulous, simple, seriously, 10 minute meals. And when I'm saying they're 10 minutes, they are 10 minutes, because we're all busy, right? So you want to have things that are quick, easy, pump them out, nutritious and delicious. Here's another kitchen hack for you. When you have the time to cook, cook extra. What can you do with these extras? You can either bring it to work the next day for your lunch, or you can freeze them in single portions, store them in the freezer, and when you need something and a quick and easy meal to have, you've got all these ready meals in your freezer ready for you. So we've spoken about time management and how to plan your meals now let's talk about how to plan your workouts. First of all, you've got to understand what can fitness do for you. Keeping fit isn't just about looking good, although of course that is a great bonus. It's about feeling good and it's about being able to run after your kids. It's about being strong so that you can lift up your kids as well as carry them when they're tired. And goodness knows, they're not only tired when they're babies or two years old, they're still tired when they're seven. So you really need the strength to carry them around so that your body doesn't feel the strain and the pain. Exercise is also one of the best stress relievers. When we exercise, we release serotonin, which is our happy hormone. We've got so much stress in our life. We've got kids stress, we've got work stress, we've got husband stress. Trust me, you need this serotonin in your life. And exercise keeps us looking young. I am so looking forward to getting onto the dance floor with my kids and I want to be the cool older sister and not the daggy mom. So here's some hacks how you can get daily movement into your busy schedule. So here are some hacks. Number one, forget the lift the escalator, the walker later, and take the stairs. You will be surprised what a good workout this is. And you might be saying, but I live or I work on the 20th floor. Hey, that's even more perfect. So you don't have to keep running up two or three flights. You get to work all the way up to the 20th floor and all the way down. And you've got a really good workout just in that. Hack number two, walk more. What you can do is you can park your car further away. Here in Asia, are you one of those people that are driving around the main entrance when you're trying to find a parking because you don't want to walk? Tell, trust me, there's parking further down there and you just need to take a little stroll. Of course, provided that it's safe for you to walk, okay, because safety does matter. But if you're with your husband or you're with friends, then it's a really nice stroll for you guys. Hack number three. Get a fitness de device, you know, use a Fitbit, one that can be able to count your steps on a daily basis. You may be really surprised how many steps you are hitting, running around after a toddler, doing the housework, going to work, and it's a really nice pleasant surprise to go, hey, I've actually hit a few thousand steps just doing that. So now if you mindfully add in a little bit more by taking the stairs, parking your car further away, going for an evening stroll, you're going to be able to clock up those steps. And research is saying to be healthy, you want to be hitting about 10,000 steps, which is about seven to eight kilometers in a day. Hack number four, we've got kids. Use them. They are the perfect exercise equipment. When you're at the park, your kids are not going to be sitting on the bench. They're going to be wanting to run around. Don't be the parent to sit there and catch up on your phone. Run after them pick them up, throw them up, they're a perfect weight. I mean, depending how old they are. But you know, you're gonna get really nice strong shoulders, lifting them up above your head. You can even carry them on your back and do some squats, do some lunges. And there in itself is a good 10, 15, 20 minute workout. Hack number five. Firstly, get the idea out that exercise has to be a 60 minute session. What you can do is you can just interject a few minutes here and there throughout your day. Wake up in the morning, just spend five minutes stretching, doing some squats, doing some push-ups. When you get to work, go up the stairs. During your lunch break, do you need a whole hour to eat lunch? Go for a nice brisk walk. Bring a friend along. 
you know, another idea is have a walking meeting. You don't always have to be sitting around a desk and you get your creative juices flowing. What you want to try and do is just make things easy for yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. So the main thing is just to get yourself moving. For all of you watching and Shamila, I really hope this helps. Do you have a question for us? Head on over to our Facebook page and send us a message. For more exciting updates, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and on Instagram, hop on over to purelybead.com where we have loads of interesting articles and you can sign up for our newsletter. Thank you for watching. I'm Marissa. See you soon.